Babe Pig in the City is the less popular sequel to the smash hit Babe from 1995. This was released in 1998, and yeah, this is a movie where you either love or you hate it. And it's usually the huge fans, such as myself, of the original Babe that totally love this. Yeah, if, you, if you're if you not a huge fan of the original Babe, just skip it. Yeah. <laughs> if you're just a casual fan of the original Babe, I wouldn't say skip this, but yeah, don't be prepared to see any, anything totally amazing. Um, yeah, the only reason why I, um, wanted to get back into this, I mean, I, uh, my parents ran into this for the first time for me, um, when it first came out back in 1998 and I hadn't seen it in, in like decades, but after, um, hearing, like my, I got reintroduced to this uh, by Siskel and Ebert, the famed film critic Gene Siskel called it the best film of 1998 calling it better than saving private ryan and the thin red line and elizabeth shakespeare in love now i totally disagree with him that it's better than than those well i agree that's better than elizabeth but yeah this uh, um i think that his uh, take on the film his uh, love for this was a little bit far-fetched now, one thing that he did say was that you would love to see, um, like, a making of documentary of this, kind of like um, what they did with the pop ups now, or, um, or dances with wolves. But yeah, this would, this actually would make a really good making of documentary. But the movie, uh, on a whole, as itself, totally not the best film of 1998. But personally with me, I would definitely call it top 10. Just because the way that uh, everything um, happens in this, it does take chances. And uh, yes, the, unlike the first film, which had just about no flaws, this one does have a couple of flaws to it. But they're all overshadowed by, uh, by its positivity. Um... You could call this a little bit of a, of a retread. Like, um, okay, both Babe movies, they're almost like like Charles Dickens uh, um, things. This, uh, this little um, pig learns that uh, it's kindness that can really change everything. Kindness and patience and understanding. It can, uh, it, it can make everything... Just, just about perfect, and uh, turn friends, uh, turn enemies into friends. So yeah, you could say that uh, this one um, is a little bit of a, of a retread in that sense, but it this one is um, it's pretty different from the first. Um, first one taking place mostly on the farm. This one taking place mostly in the city, but. Yeah, I, I would call the first. Sometimes I sometimes I call a Bay Pig in the City better than the first Babe. Yeah, I like unlike the Godfather one and two, which I almost always flip back and forth between. Like I like Godfather one more than one more than two, and then next watch time I watch both of them. I like Godfather two more than Godfather one. This one, yeah, like ninety five percent of the time I always revert back to. The first Babe movie being the better one, but it's no that's I'm not taking away anything from Babe Pig in the City. It is a really good film. Only if you're a big fan of the first one. <laughs> so, the movie opens up fresh from the like fresh out of the first one with um, Babe and Farmer Hoggett returning home to we're returning home to the farm. After winning the sheep herding contest, when um, when the farmer who's James Cromwell gets uh, his leg broken accidentally by a babe, 
um, there's there's all these hospital bills and uh, um, the bank comes and they're going to uh, take the farm. They're going to seize the farm, repossess it, unless they unless a bunch of money is raised for it. So uh, Mrs. Hoggett, who's played by Madga Zabansky, takes Babe um, to to different uh, um, celebrity places like. Um, yeah, you know, Babe's like now a celebrity, and uh, there's going to be a bunch of different uh, places for endorsements and stuff. Thing is, um, there's a there's a, just a bunch of uh, um, shenanigans. Well, not really so much shenanigans, but things happen, and they wind up not getting any sort of um, not endorsing anything, and they wind up in the city. Um, yeah, like, uh, like, uh, Mrs. Hoggett, first uh, she's accused of, uh, um, of carrying illegal narcotics and, um, yeah, that's what leads them to, uh, to the city where they're not supposed to be. But, um, but yeah, Babe ends up in this, uh, in this hotel mostly run by uh, by animals now the good thing about uh, bay pig in the city is that there's actually more animals in this than the first one so because of that the you could say that this uh, has a better production design to it it takes place in in this fictitious fictitious city and it's uh it's just uh, so very well done like the, the physical construction of this film I wouldn't say it's really better than the first one, just because the first one is just so enchanting the way that it looks throughout the whole thing. This one, on the other hand, um, yeah, people call Bay Pig in the City darker and edgier. So yeah, if you think that Bay Pig in the City has the better production design to it, that's fine. I totally get it. So yeah, um, in the city, um, Babe meets uh, more mean animals including a group of these chimpanzees and yeah they're they're not really nice at all um they, they've even explained to him that it's a doggy dog world out there and to fend for yourself and it's uh, it's a quite it's quite shocking because uh in the first babe yeah there were some animals that weren't all that nice but they they ended up growing better but in this one, the animals that don't start off as being nice are start off by being meaner than the ones in the previous flick. But of course, it's Babe's kindness that's able to change all these characters for the better. And that's really good. Yeah, Mrs. Hoggett, um, she gets involved in more, um, in more, she has more runs with the law. They're not, they're not really that big. Uh, they're not really that big, like like story wise. But um, but with with Babe dealing with these animals, uh, it's all really good stuff. And um, yeah, the movie the movie doesn't really deal a whole lot with um, them trying to raise money for the farm. It just happens to be something that's dealt with at the beginning and at the end. The middle part is mostly about Babe trying to change the lives uh, of these animals by just by just being uh, as nice as he possibly can to them. And uh, yeah, the the the, cute, the adorable the adorability of these animals uh, um, just as uh, good as in the first Babe movie. How cute these animals are. And uh, the way, and uh, yeah, when we f do find out how money is raised to keep the farm, it just uh, makes everything so much. Uh, it, it just, uh, even though uh, the whole movie isn't spent on trying to figure out how to keep money for the Hoggett family, it still does have a pretty gigantic payoff by the, by the end. And. 
yeah, like, uh, okay, maybe not as much as a loss for words as I was with day one, but uh, like I'm still totally enchanted every time I see this flick. Um, yeah, this movie is it, it's it's so nice and uh, it's sweet and. There are some shocking dark moments to it, so I wouldn't recommend this. Like the the age gap, well, no, not not maybe an age gap, but the age range for Babe, for the first Babe, is um, it's it, it's bigger. Like this, like Babe one could be watched by a one year old or or a, or a baby that's not even one. Pick of the city, I would say, if you're like maybe five or six years old, then that would be better because there are some moments of danger in this. But yeah, maybe maybe about five or six years old and up would be good for this. But yeah, as I said in the like my review of uh, the first Babe, the adults will and would enjoy this for its um, for its uh, physicality, like because uh, um, they know the all the things that it takes to make a film like this, they would call the the physical construction of it great, and the combination of live action with animals, with CGI, all good stuff. The movie doesn't uh, um, the movie doesn't tackle all of the like there are a few noticeable moments of um, CGI and of uh, puppets and animatronics, but it's not uh, like yeah, as, as I said earlier in this review, um, it, it doesn't uh, all the, it doesn't upstage anything. All the good moments upstage the bad. Because of that, I'm gonna give this movie four stars. I love. It.